the University of Redlands, um, and Johannes, from, you're from Germany, of course, but um, as an economist, uh, you understand, you know, a macro view, you know, our, our economy uh, does have great opportunities to export more and really produce a more diverse local economy. So how do you see this event playing out for, um, you know, the local business community? Well, I think it's one of the really important things to organize um, because a lot of small businesses especially are not aware um, how uh, yeah, easy it can be to access the global markets if you do it the right way. If you pick up the right resources, if you know where to go and uh, what is the right country for you to export to first. Right. So. Um is you know where do they where do they get started? I mean, to me that would be a that would be an imposing aspect to get through that first hurdle. Yes, there's great opportunity, but it's one of those you know you just don't jump into this. You need to understand the you yeah. know well. I mean, like picture. yeah, normally a company, especially a manufacturing company, pretty much understands whether they're competitive in their local market. So they know whether they're doing relatively better than their other competitors, um, and so that's always a good sign for them uh, to. to to, to know whether it's worthwhile to go. And then there is an, a plethora of um, uh, good resources to go to. So it depends on how much uh, you want to spend yourself or how much you want to outsource. So there's all consulting companies that can put you on the fast track to go there. There's like uh, some of them actually are uh, here with us today. The government offers excellent uh, resources, the Small Business Administration, um, the San Bernardino uh, Development Office. So th all those um, people have a lot of very valuable information. They can put um, people that are interested in going uh, abroad right on the right track. And so then um, once you know which uh, country you're probably most interested in, um, look at all this wonderful immigration, immigrant body that we have here, or students that have traveled abroad into those countries. Um, they can help you figure out uh, what the best way for you uh, right. is to go there. Sure. And uh, as, as I've come to understand a little bit more about trade, it, it is interesting. It's great opportunity but there are certain complexities too it's like you sure. know especially if you're a consumer facing business mm -hmm. you know you might have customer service direct right. uh, language issues with your consumers right. business to business it might be more about understanding the culture of the business right. that you know the, of that country and or even mm -hmm. within that business within that country so uh, you know part i would think partnerships would be very important whether it's sure. in the supply chain right. or whether it's just in helping you negotiate uh, how business is done in those areas. Of course, I mean, like if you um, produce uh, for the final consumer, you have the, the, the most difficult um, point really to go to. And I think without a partner, it's going to be very, very hard. And so that's been also the success track of uh, a lot of companies that I know that have been successful, um, especially in Asian markets where cultural uh, issues probably are much, much bigger than, say, if you wanted to export to Europe. Mm -hmm. And so, and of course, since we're next uh, to the Pacific, um, the Asian markets are kind of our next best choice sure. next to Mexico. Sure. And so, uh, the, the, here in, in this case, I mean, my, my wife's actually Chinese, so I have a good in, in, insight into all these things. Um, I think um, the, the best thing is really then to seek out locals that have lived in China, like the immigration population, to help find partners over there. Or find another business that's not directly um, in, not a direct competitor for you, that has sure, been successful in that market to help you entry into that market. And especially a business that um, benefits from seeing you being successful is the best partner to look for, to, to learn, to work with, and so on. Excellent. And so, and then they'll help you to find the right partners for distribution over there, um, and uh, just to figure out whether your products are adapt for that market, adaptive for this market already, where, whether there's a market there, uh, whether they see that you can sell that. Um, and uh, it's, I think that's, that's the, the, yeah, the right. golden track. Very go good. There. All right, uh, one, one final question for you. That I would think in the Inland Empire with our uh, you know, potential exp you know, for, for more capacity, I would think that we would be attractive to, uh, as a potential export center or incubator. It's, it's kind of really puzzling to me. You know, we're sitting at the gateway to, with all the ports, the airports, everything, like, you know, literally in, uh, in arm's length distance. And uh, so, I think a lot of it has really to do with informational barriers. And so there are two ways to overcome that. It's um, 
one to educate the local economy to uh, like the, the companies that are already there um, to go to those places um, and uh, like the, the government and uh, the consulting companies and to, to uh, events like this to learn uh, and other than that you know attract businesses that are already interested in going abroad because we still have space. Yes we do. Very good. We've been uh, talking with Johannes Munoz from the University of Redlands. We are here at the International Trade and Expo and we'll be uh, lining up another guest and be back with you in a moment.